In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my breathing pens. So come on, let's go take a look. So when it comes to breeding my flock, I have quite a few challenges. It can be really expensive to buy good breeding adults. They can cost anywhere from $50 to $150 each, and most breeders are keeping their very best. So I'm finding it really hard to find good breeding hens. In fact, I only have one hen that meets all the standards I'm aiming for. This is Miley, and she is a two-year-old splash hen. So to keep it affordable, I purchased hatching eggs and chicks. I have spent anywhere from $40 to $100 for a dozen hatching eggs from reputable breeders. And days old chicks can cost anywhere from $10 a chick to $40 a chick. So you can now see why I'm setting up my own breeding pens. I feel like I have a good enough flock to start hatching my own eggs. I'm lucky enough to have a mentor who's helping me, and I'm just a first year breeder. I'm new to this, I'm not gonna know everything. You guys are gonna learn along with me. This is Johnny's flock, and he is a black rooster, and he has three girls. This pretty girl is a black hen, and her name is June. Her and Johnny will produce black chicks. And this cute little girl is Miley. She's a splash hen and her and Johnny will produce blue chicks. And this sweetheart is Daisy. She is also a splash hen and her and Johnny will produce blue chicks. She is also the first one in line if I have any treats. So let's recap breeding pen one. We are going to get black chicks and blue chicks. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of silky breeders out there that are going to comment on this video. At least I hope so. Next is breeding pen two. This handsome boy is Ozzy and he is a blue rooster and he is an amazing rooster. This pretty girl is Cindy, and she is a blue hen, and she is the only breeding hen in with Ozzy. Now this is a really interesting pairing. Two blue silkies produce 50% blue, 25% black, and 25% splash. Isn't that cool? So let's recap breeding pen two. We're going to get blue, black, and splash chicks from this pen. Now let's take a look at the pen sizes. Ozzy's flock, which is pen two, is four by eight feet. That gives me 32 square feet for five bantam chickens. Let's take a look at pen number one. Pen number one is four by five, giving me 20 square feet. The minimum area for four bantam chickens is 26 square feet for the coop and run. I'm really shy on my requirements for this space. This is only a temporary setup. On the other side of this pen is a same size pen that is temporarily holding a rooster that's going to a new home within the week. This video was filmed before I had made that change, so you see Ozzy and June over in that other section, but they've now moved to that other pen. Johnny is trying to sweet talk Miley here, but she just wants nothing to do with him. This is the first time that they've been together, so it's gonna take a little bit of time for them to get used to each other, but he is trying to be convincing. He and June have been together since they were chicks, so she doesn't mind him whatsoever and actually prefers him to the other roosters.
Wait, what? You're asking about our pet flock? Where did everybody go? They're still here. And Ash is taking care of them. Let me explain to you why I'm not going to use these guys for breedings. They just have so many undesirable traits, it wouldn't be good for me to breed them. And let me point those out to you. Our three buff girls were purchased from a farm store, so they are not really good quality. But just because these guys aren't breeding quality doesn't mean that they aren't amazing, wonderful, and beautiful. They honestly hold a very special place in our hearts. Angel is the little splash girl here, and she has a cross beak, and sometimes that's genetic, so we don't want to pass that on either. Our little blue hen here, Elvis, she has no beard, so we're <laughs> only breeding bearded silkies. I don't have any treats. I gave them to early. And our little man, Ash. Ash has what's called leakage. He's a splash rooster, so should look like Miley. You can see he has all this brown everywhere. What is going on? I've never seen any of our roosters do this, and it looks like Ash is actually making a nest. He's a rooster. And he's making noises like he does when he's showing the girls a treat. So I think he's trying to entice them over and shows them how to make a nest. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this here so you guys can watch what happens. Say something that will make my day. Cause these memories of her won't go away. And now more girls are coming in to see what he's doing because he's calling them. And now one of the girls gets into the nest just because she wants to see what the big deal was. I don't think she was impressed. And there he goes again. I've looked, there's no egg in there. The girls are looking so confused, like, what is he doing? And there he goes again. Now you guys can see why we love him so much. <laughs> we really hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.